Yo, what's going on guys? Today's video is just going to be a quick little top 5 tips for newer players to Star Wars The Old Republic. So to kick it off with number 5, I'm going to mention a kind of touchy topic. It is the Refer a Friend program in Swator. You will be able to find a lot of people who will pay for it, which is awesome. If you want to go that route, you can. But this is my bundle that I received. I've never bought this. And you can see here I get an inventory module. This, I think, is consistent. Throughout, you get a Unify Colors, which is awesome if you're a free-to-play or preferred. A Display Character Titles, which is good if you want to go that route. And display those titles and a crew skill slot if you want to pick up some of the crafting skills along the way but this is not what i know some other people got this is what i got i promise you i've never bought this but i do know of other people who have received this same thing for being a referred friend so keep that in mind i'll drop mine in the comments below if you want to pick that up well thank you ship um <laughs> but on to number four at the number four spot, we have something that hasn't always been in the game, but is now a pretty awesome resource for newer players, especially right off of their starter planet. They can look pretty decent, which is awesome without buying any cartel market armors. So up here in the supply section down at the bottom of it, on the outer ring, you have an adaptive gear vendor. And this guy will sell full sets of gear which you can, now that we have outfit designer, you can just slot right into that. But they're not horrible looking sets, especially, like I said, coming off that starter planet, you're gonna get some pretty decent looking armor. You're not gonna look like as low a level as you, as you would if you, you know, didn't pick any of this stuff up. Now there is lower level sets up to higher level looking sets, because these are pre-existing sets that were in the game that they have now added. Uh, it seems like there's probably two to three different sets of gear per class in the game. So you'll probably find something you like here. This used to be a very sought after item. Um, it was a rare drop in a heroic. Now you can just pick it up for 2,500 credits. It is an awesome deal and an awesome resource for newer players. So at number three is going to be a bit of a lesser tip, not as important, but it's something that some people might not know about, and that's being able to skip through conversations. Now, if you've never done the conversations, I would just listen to them through, but again, if you're running heroics or whatever, and you just want to skip through the conversation just to finish the quest out, or running through an old flashpoint, you don't want to listen to that kind of stuff, you don't have to. And I will show you here. So it plays out normally. And then for every tap of the spacebar, it will skip part of the conversation. So you can just spacebar through all of this and just pick your dialogue options as you go. And then you would start whatever or continue on in whatever activity you're doing. But lesser tip, but is pretty important later on because you don't want to be sitting there for, you know, a few minutes every so often when you don't have to be so pretty invaluable tip to me maybe not to you guys but we're getting on to number two this tip at number two is going to be a bit of a later game tip but still a tip for newer players who don't know about the resources that are out there there are optimal abilities and rotations and all that kind of stuff for each of the classes and and each of the specs and most likely they're going to be guides out there for your specific needs whether that be pvp pve tanking healing whatever it is there's going to be a guide out there for it somewhere and you need to take advantage of those guides being out there because they will help you tremendously and it will stop you from using abilities that probably don't even need to be on your hot bars so the marauders i just finished the marauders there's a video guide on that there's video guides on plenty of stuff just take advantage of those resources, maybe around like level 50 or so, get a good idea of what's going on, and you'll be set for the future. Okay, and at number one is probably my biggest 
tip for newer players getting into the game is going to be finding a guild. It's probably going to be one of the more difficult things that you can do out of the five tips that I've given you. But finding a guild will make the game so much more fun, especially once you've gone through the story content you want to go through and you're doing flashpoints or operations or whatever you want to be doing. It's going to be way more fun with people you enjoy doing it with, obviously. I played years and years and years ago with multiple different guilds that I really loved and I've played recently. Not quite the same just kind of mindlessly run through the operations or the flashpoint or whatever instead of cracking jokes and all that kind of stuff throughout it's just going to be way better you're going to make friends that you're going to you know cherish for a while i still talk to plenty of the people that i played with before so you really need to look into that people post in fleet chat all the time which i know is probably not the best way to get into a guild but if you're just looking for people to hang out with and play the game with That'll be just fine. Just talk to whoever's posting, get a feel for the type of people that they are, and if you feel like they kind of fit you, give it a shot. Who knows? That's how I got into the second guild that I was in, and I loved it. So just give it a shot. Um, but with that being said, that last tip is going to close out this video. Please let me know if any of this helped you at all. Drop a like, subscribe, follow me on my social medias, all that good stuff. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later. See ya! Dark side, side, side.